to find the creamiest cows in his area, Glynn headed south. But surprisingly, he didn't have to go much further than the outskirts of Birmingham to Grovewood Farm Dairy in Hopwood. Believe it or not, we're five to 10 minutes away from Birmingham city centre. I mean, look at the view, it's absolutely fantastic. And we're here today to source some, you know, real honest double cream and, and you know, it's on our doorstep. <coughs> Hi, Mark. Glyn meets up with Mark Elliott, who's going to show him around. Early, isn't it? Hey. It is early, yes. Hey. Oh, you got halfway right through the day for you, boys. <laughs> Mark's herd is made up of 200 Frisians, the most popular dairy cow in Britain today. What makes your cream so distinctive, so, so, so special? It's so distinctive because it's purely from the milk from the cows on this farm. So, so like some other farms or some other producers will take uh, milk from all different sort of Correct, parts? Correct, a big of... dairy would take milk from hundreds of different herds and blend it all together and you would lose the distinct flavour. <coughs> She's a bit noisy at the end. Yeah, that one is a bit noisy at the end there, yes. Is that one definitely from Birmingham? It's a Birmingham accent, that one, definitely. Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. It's quite chilly out in the yard, which gives Glynn the perfect excuse to put on tight overalls and a silly hat. Right, then. let's go and get some cream. Yeah, basically, the milk comes in into a separator, yeah. where the cream is then separated from the milk. It comes through into this cooling tank here. That's then ready to package at that stage. It's ready to go, then. So, yeah, we can put that into whatever size container or pot that we want to. So what's the process on making single cream or double cream? Right, it's purely by adjusting the separating machine. We tweak that to give you a different level of fatness. So I'm looking for like a really thick cream for my desserts. So, so what's in the tank at the moment? In the tank at the moment is double cream, which would be ideal. Can you have a taste? Certainly, have yourself. <laughs> Don't own that though. <laughs> so when was this taken out of the cow? This morning. This morning? Yeah. So you can't get, you, well, you can't get any pressure? No, there, you can't can get you? any pressure, no. Superb, that's absolutely superb. Back in the kitchen, Glynn's vanilla cream is simmering and Sat's keen to try some. Can I have a taste of this cream, boss? Yeah, is this, this is the one you got from Brum? Yeah, this is uh, a. Yeah, it's just nice. Glynn pours the cream over beaten egg yolks and whisks it in. I worked in a restaurant once, Sat. Yeah. And, uh, we had creme brulee on the menu. One of them come back. Go on. They said uh, she's not eating the creme brulee because there's ash in the bottom of it. <laughs> and I said, you what? And what it was was, it was the beautiful little black seeds from the... From the vanilla? Yeah. No. So you thought it was ash. But I think Brummies have moved on since then. Oh, I hope so. Glyn now needs his creme brulee mixture to cool down before he pours it onto the eggshells. No seed. If you drop that, don't come back. OK. Oh, no pressure. Cheers. On the other side of the kitchen, Sat's now got enough juice for his sorbet. He's going to use one of his modern gadgets to give it a smooth texture. But first, it must be frozen.